Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, what I'm going to do is expand a little bit on the tip I submitted for the Golf Channel Instructor Search. In that tip, I did two swings, one where I was all tight and locked up, and the next where I was nice and loose and relaxed, and I used this launch monitor to show the difference in the swing speeds. Now, after submitting that tip, I had a lot of people email me asking me what device I was using and where they could get one. Well, it's a swing speed radar, okay, swing speed radar, and it's actually quite a handy device because once you turn it on and you set it up, it instantly shows you the club head speed and the, the tempo of your golf swing. So great device to have if you're trying to work on swing speed and tempo, okay? So right below this video, I'll have a couple links where you can get one of these if you're looking for this sort of thing. Now, over the years, I've talked to a lot of people about the golf swing, obviously. You know, I've had a lot of senior people and just people in general saying that they're, you know, they're not strong enough to hit the golf ball a long way or how do I get more distance, that sort of thing. So in this tip, what I want to do is show you how you know, absolutely slow as possible that I can swing and still generate pretty good club head speed. Okay, so I'm going to set this up and prove to you that you don't have to swing hard to get all the club head speed you want. Okay, so here we go. So to use the device, you just, you simply turn it on and then you set it a few inches from the ball like that. And now we're ready to go. It's, it's really that simple. Okay, just like that, so you can see the readout as you're hitting balls. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do some really easy, easy golf swings, and you'll see uh, the measurement on the machine. Okay, that swing there was 93 miles an hour, and you can see I'm barely swinging at it. Okay, let's try another one here. So. Just nice and relaxed, nice easy swing. Okay, that right there was 98 miles an hour. So it's really not about, you know, swinging hard. If I can just put easy swings on it and develop a lot of club head speed, like that's 89 miles an hour right there. Like, it, it's not about hitting hard. It's about staying relaxed, keeping this nice and loose, and letting it whip to generate that speed. Now, of course, if I was to hit the ball over 100, or generate over 100 miles an hour club head speed, that's when I would really start using, you know, my lower body to make that club whip. But just for this demonstration, I, I just really wanted to show you that you don't have to swing that hard to hit the ball a long way and get enough club head speed to generate some, some pretty good distance. Now, when you go to the range, what I want you to do is stay nice and relaxed with your grip, okay? That's huge, because if you're gripping on and you're all, you know, got a death grip on that golf club, you're locking everything here, and there's no way you're going to be able to get that club whipping uh, it, like I just did. Also, next, well, sorry, just before I go on, uh, when you go to hit each shot, just kind of say to yourself that you want to be about 2 out of 10 with your grip pressure, okay? That's pretty important. So I, I usually see a lot of people and they're holding on way too tight. So 2 out of 10 with your grip pressure. Arms, they're 0 out of 10, okay? They're just hanging there. These aren't turned on at all. If your arms are all locked up to begin with, how can you possibly keep them relaxed throughout your swing? There's just no way. So not only is the grip relaxed, but your arms are just hanging there, okay? Now, when you first start to do this, here's the problem. Most people try to do this, they, they start slowing down their swing and getting it nice and loose, and they don't hit the ball very well. They might top it, they might sky it, they might hit it left or right. The problem is they give up. They stop doing it because they try to go back to a golf swing that they think works, but doesn't. So, you know, their old golf swing, this hard, fast swing, hits a few shots out of ten, half decent. So, you know, they go back to that. But the problem is that swing just doesn't work. You know, so I don't want you to give up on it. I want you to stay nice and relaxed no matter how bad the ball is going and keep doing it. You might have to do it for 20 balls or, you know, a, a, a whole bucket of balls or five buckets of balls. It doesn't matter. Just keep swinging slow and easy and nice and relaxed until you start hitting the ball half decently. 
and at that point you'll see that you will literally hit the ball almost as far as your best shot when you're all locked up and you're trying to swing at it as hard as you can. Once you start seeing that, then start to add body rotation to hit the ball even further than ever before, okay? So real simple, just stay nice and relaxed in your grip and in your arms. Just do nice, easy, easy swings, okay? Let everything loosen up, and within no time, you're gonna see that you can develop tons of club head speed, and you're barely even swinging at it.